Welcome to the Julia Gordon Low House. For me, this is a dream come true because I've been a Girl Scout, as was my mother, my grandmother, and my two daughters. And I am so thrilled to be here in her beautiful home that is such a showpiece. I've wanted to go here, I think, my whole life. Um, but I'm really especially happy to add this to the Author Adventures website because it is a literary landmark in that if it were not for Julia Gordon Lowe, we would not have the Girl Scout Handbook, which is a seminal piece of literature uh, in the U.S. and all around the world and teaching girls life skills in every arena of life. So it's very exciting to be here and sort of get inside the mind and the life of Julia Gordon Lowe. And with me today is the curator, Cheryl Lang, the true expert. So I'm going to turn it over to Cheryl and let her tell you a little bit about the home. Well, we're delighted that you're here. And the Julia Gordon Lowe birthplace is unique in that it's one of the few house museums dedicated to a woman. But more than just being a memorial to someone who's long dead, it's a place where girls can come to be inspired, to be girls of courage, confidence, and character who truly make the world a better place. And this exhibit that we're in today is also unique. Uh, it is a touchstone to the past. Juliette Lowe loved books. She loved poetry, the theater, the spoken word. And in this space, we have uh, an interactive exhibit where girls can come and they can explore the work of other women, other girls, to think about how they can make a difference in the world. And again, I am so happy to be here. I would encourage anyone to visit, even if you're not a Girl Scout, this is an inspiring home. Come to Savannah, Georgia. 